welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. I want to say a big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. Okay, we're going to get back on this little Evan Rude 6 horsepower. Got the carb off, starter pulled out to the side, and uh, got to get this carb cleaned and uh, get it back on there and see if it's going to be a runner. And then what I'm thinking about you understand is since I've got that little freebie that somebody brought me the 25 horsepower Evinrude um, and it, it's still sitting in the bucket on my little loader so I thought we'd bring it in here after this little three horse and see if we can unfreeze it, unseize it, unstick it, get wicked so see if it's gonna be a Ranta or a parts motor so that's what I'm gonna start off with I think unless something changes so uh, Let's get at it. I'm gonna have to do is loosen this starter again, take this cam roller off, and go out and get one that's not broke. This one has been wired together. I'll show it to you when I get this off, and uh, it'll only take me a minute. But it, if this was, it should have more. See it now, it's going wide open. Out of gear. Still. That should be enough to start the thing. Well, it's only two screws to hold the air box on, so what I'm going to do is let it sit overnight. Um, maybe once I got fuel through there and got everything lit off, it won't be a problem anymore. Um, I think that's what I'll do is just put the choke back on in the airbox. Talking about three screws and that's it. So I think that's what I'll do. Then we'll roll that other one in here. I'll be right back. 
Okay, what I found on this little guy here, once I put the air silencer box and everything back on, it's got the primer all the way in, halfway out, all the way out. I find if I put it on about that halfway mark, she'll generally start right on. little kicker. Oh, Would help if I had gas hooked up, eh? There's another one, kind of like the other one. What can I do it for you? I got a bunch of stuff I need to bring you. Right. It's on my little crystal worker. I ordered one online. Uh -huh. It'll work at all. What the heck? It's a little Honda. And I got it. I actually got one. flimsy handle. So, if you get one of these, it's all stuck, and you can't get the uh, latch thing, you heat the latch right at the body. Some tell me there's going to be creepy crawlies in here. here just where the body is. If you pry on this you'll break it. There you go. 
once you get that, just work that nylon back and forth. It's got salt all over it. I'm back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Look it. See all that salt fall out? And I still managed to break the down. Very tip of it off. But anyway, that's how you undo them. Don't get carried away. Uh, let's see. some creepy crawly action in there uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you this carbon denade look at that carburetor can you see that is that a masterpiece yeah look at that carburetor He said it's been sitting about 20 years. I believe him. It's got yuck everywhere. everywhere. Oh yeah. Well, who knows whether that thing would even think about freeing up. See what a sparky plug look like. Yeah, looks pretty good, really. Black, no rust. Well, you never know. Might be able to save it. Let's see if I can get the spark plug out. Again, although the spark plug is really rusty, the tip and so forth ain't too bad. So, first thing we're going to do, get a little trifle, put it in a ho-ho. In case we do get some moo 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 Some moo 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 That is a salty dog. Nope. See, nope, I'm not budging. You want me? You get a ratchet. But one thing I do like about it so far is it don't look overly molested. Even though it's exceptionally soft, it don't look like parts have been taken off. Still got the safety interlocks on it. So what we're going to do now, is I'm going to get me a breaker bar, a breaker bar, do I have one, do I have one, I think I have one. are tight. So she's a tight. Do -do 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 -do. 
the breaker bar may not do any good. This one may be parts bound. So, put an impact on it, see if that'll do anything for it. Put Thor on there, see if. else I sometimes try. Is I put some heat in them spark plug holes. See if I can get something to expand a little maybe, free up. just a little bit different.
I don't think she's going to budge. Well, I think of what I'm going to do is fill the cylinders with the 50-50 mixture of acetone, tranny fluid, and a little bit of Marvel Mystery Oil. Then I'm going to lay it down on its front. Lift up the lower leg and let it soak for a couple, three days. I think that would be the best thing to do with this before I try and pull that head and I'll squirt all the bolts the head bolts down with some lube let them be soaking too and go from there I ain't gonna throw her out in the garbage yet or take the parts off but you know the guy has been sitting in a barn for how many, how many, how many, how many, how many, how many, how many years? But did it go under in those years? Is the Quirkstons? Did it go down to David Jones before it got brought home? So that's what we're going to do with this guy. Give it the treatment. I'll be right back. Well, I think of what I'm going to do is fill the cylinders with the 50-50 mixture of acetone, tranny fluid, and a little bit of Marvel Mystery Oil. Then I'm going to lay it down on its front. Lift up the lower leg and let it soak for a couple, three days. It's name that tune. So many people have come and gone. Their faces fade as the years go by. Name that tune. I got some skinny. I got some skinny. I got some skinny on some cool old outboards up at the storage facility. So I'm gonna slide up there and sniff around, sneak around, see what I can see, 
See what I can find. You want to come with me? Let's go. Oh, yeah. There's some nice ones. Wonder if that 50's got tilt on it. Hard to see in there, but I don't think it does. Nice little steering center console there. Somebody made out of aluminum. Boats and boats and more boats. But one of the ones I was looking at may be gone. Oh, that guy's still here. Nice looking old ski, a tight boat with a Mercury on it back there. Huh. But the one I was looking for over this way, I thought maybe it's gone. What do we got over here? We got an Ocean Pro V4. Hooked to an assemblance of a block and tackle. Looks like they were trying to get it on a stand here. And that didn't work out too good. The old Ocean Pro. Austin Whaler. Old Forty Johnson. She's got the tilt trim, the kind that's on the inside of the transom clamps. I like that. He back to Boston Whaler. You got the easy loader trailer with the Raider Explorer 208. Nice boat. Shadow Corporation, ATEC, more Shadow Corporation. I own one of these, the exact same one for the most part. It's a Livingston, really nice little dinghies. Just like mine, and I've had a lot of people ask me if I would sell mine. And I say, no, I'm not selling it. But there's one. And I can see by them back plates out of aluminum there. And down there they've put lifting eyes on the inside so they can lift it off, off and on the deck of a uh, Saner or something. There's an older generation Honda. Four stroke, 15 horsepower. Yep, and then look what's hiding right over in there with the tiller arm all busted off and everything. Nice 30 Evan root. What else we got? Nice little welded skiff though. So we got the little bitty Evan root out of here, and uh. So that guy can come pick up both his five and one half, 1963 five and one half, and his little six horsepower Belgium made cutie heaven route. So then I just brought this donated motor in here to see what we could do, and she's rough. But I got her undergoing the treatment, and uh, we'll give her about three days soak with the acetone and the automatic transmission fluid and see if we can uh, get her unstuck and if not parts is parts and this one's got a lot of good ones um, so but anyway um, that's about all I can do right now is wait on that one and then I'll just have to scratch my head and decide what I'm going to bring in here next um, so and always, 
you never know what's going to show up at this little shop. So, that's going to be a wrap on this one. Thank you so much for watching. One more hack from Cody Yak. Don't forget to subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.